Hold on. <laughs> Went live and immediately made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, one moment. There we go. All right. Let me just get everything in place like I want it to be. Get my chat window open. Oh God, I forgot it doesn't. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right, there. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dumb Ways to Not Die. Uh, and I just remember that I have not, uh, I haven't yet updated my most recent deaths from Conquest of uh, Camelot, but I'll get to that. Probably do it tomorrow. I also need to up export the videos to YouTube. Anyway, that will be for later. Right now, we are starting a new game uh, that I've been looking forward to. Um, it is called Shard Light, and it is a Wadget Eye game, which means it's going to be awesome. I already know this for a fact, <laughs> despite never having played this game before and knowing very little about it. I mean, just look at this rad opening screen. We have these like nifty glass crystal shards and this cool ominous crow and a skeleton and a destroyed cityscape. All good, all good things for varying values of good. <laughs> so, um, there aren't a lot of options to adjust, so I'm just gonna keep these the way they are. Subtitles on, walk speed normal, sure, yep, okay. Maybe I'll change the walk speed to fast later, but let's test it out first. So anyway, let's start. Here we go. November 9th. The world ended 20 years ago today. What a strange, awful anniversary to celebrate. 20 years, and this city is still in ruins. 20 years, and the citizens are still dying on the streets. 20 years, 20 years. And I'm no closer to fixing my mistake. That was an odd little audio glitch there. As I look on the horizon today, I see many laborers going to their lottery jobs. They cling to hope that the ticket they earn will win them the vaccine they need to survive. Green Lung continues to take lives every day. But the people of this town are stubborn, resilient. They refuse to give up in the face of death. Green lung. Ew. Doesn't sound pleasant. <coughs> oh, it stinks down here. Hopefully, dealing with the reactor won't take too long. Left click to interact, right click to examine. Easy enough. Look at that cool UI. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and save, just because i got to save immediately. It's a really old lamp. There's a wax candle inside. I can't reach it from down here. If I want that candle, I'll need some way of getting the lamp down. Huh. Why the hell would a cultist come down here? I believe that graffiti is spelled wrong. And this is why you should hire me to proofread all your games. It's my way back to the world above. I really shouldn't leave until I've gotten the reactor working. This hasn't been here very long. The paint is still damp. Hmm. At least some power is on down here. Doesn't look very stable though. Not really in the mood to electrocute myself. Aw, oh, not even a little? Hey, good evening, Omega Number. It's some kind of control box with a plate on it. It's probably connected to the main power source in here. Oh, nice! You were beta tester on this one. Cool. 
The tables have turned, yes. Spugen and Sons. Compliant uh, manufacturing. Compliance checked 1014. Unit serial number illegible. Hey, Cosmic Afro. This is the compliance plate, but it's too corroded to read. It's too corroded to read. Hmm. Poor guy. Looks like he's been down here a long time. Let's, let's rifle through his pockets. I don't suppose you've seen a reactor around here. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> There's a gas mask on it. Must be an extractor fan. Controls are probably nearby. I should probably leave the sign where it is. This must be the fan control. Poke it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, really? So you must have been a tester when... Uh, before the voice acting was implemented? Interesting. This kind of reminds me of that. There was a puzzle in, um... What game was it? Uh, Samaritan Paradox, I think. Uh, that had a puzzle where I had to, like, blow... Uh, toxic gas into another room using a fan. I think this game came out before Samaritan Paradox, though. I'm not sure, though. That leads further into the tunnel. Oh dear. I'm starting to see why this was a lottery job. This better be worth it. Hey, my Fort. I haven't missed that much. I've only I've only just like left the very first room in the game. Hmm. There's a piece of paper stuck up there. Ooh, maybe that's what I'm going to use the fan for. There's an old vent up there. It has a pull cord hanging from it. I shouldn't get too close. It's not stable. Cool, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this one, too. Looks like that used to be somebody's bathroom. Nice tile floor. Hmm. What's that thing up there? I can't reach it from down here. This pull cord is attached to the vent up there. Okay, but it doesn't stay that way. Okay, okay, so I think I see what I have to do. I have to, um, I want to go back in here, turn the fan on, make sure it's blowing into the other room, uh, probably at top speed so that I can get the, so I can get the paper sucked through that vent. An emergency light. Of course they sent me to look at an unstable reactor. <laughs> I've got no way of controlling it. McTeague Maintenance Corp. There's a maintenance log underneath. The last inspection was 15 years ago. It would probably just disintegrate in my hands if I peeled it off. When looking for the reactor, follow the blue light. Hey, TJ Thriller. Welcome, welcome. Oh. oh my god. Hello? Can you hear me? Took you long enough. I thought I was raving food. It's only been, uh, what, a day now? We need to get you out of here. Hey, 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 calm down, kid. I'm fine where I am. Who are you? They didn't tell you? I'm afraid not. <sighs> Typical. Aristocrats don't give a rat's ass about anyone else till their lights go out. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. Did Tiberius send you to fix the reactor? Yes. Oh, I see. I'm your replacement, aren't I? It would seem so. Certainly hope you have better luck than I did. So, what happened to you? Are you blind, kid? <laughs> I came down here, I was about to get the reactor running, and there was a tremor. All hell breaks loose, and now I'm crawling my way to the Reaper. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Buenos dias. <laughs> it comes with the territory. But then, uh, you should know that, right? Is there anything you need? 
Anything I can help you with? Uh, I'm a dead man. Even if you went for help, I'd be gone by the time you got back. There's nothing at all? Can I do anything to make you more comfortable? You're nice, kid. But nice will get you killed. Just do your job. I'm not going anywhere. Don't move. I'll be back. Your sense of humor needs some work, kid. <laughs> As if he's gonna move. Okay, let's go see about that paper, piece of paper. Hey, Morinda. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've heard the same. Like, he was a real person, um, but pretty much everything about him uh, can't be door. verified. I'm glad it hasn't rusted shut. mess with this. So it's already going the right way. Let's try this. Whee! There we go. Gotcha. It's just a blank piece of paper. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Wait. It's some kind of control box with a plate on it. It's probably connected to the main power source in here. the embossed letters underneath I can hmm. Hmm. okay I probably need like a piece of charcoal or something wait can I use the ink from the graffiti I don't see how I can use that there no I guess not or the paint rather it said it was still damp yeah. Oh, right. And then there was this lamp. It's a really with a wax candle inside. Maybe I need the wax. I can't reach it from down here. If I want that candle. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So the fan does affect the the lamp. What if I do this? Maybe I will do... Maybe I need something else. Let's keep looking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of love it. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's what um, uh, Wajadai Games kind of specializes in. Radioactive. Wonderful. It's securely fastened to the wall. Feels like it has been for several years. A bolt to the head is an ugly way to go. Oh, well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's got nothing else that can help me. The water cools down the pipes that are connected to the reactor. Not exactly great swimming water or drinking water. Excuse me, sir. Can I have some of your blood? He's been crushed under some rubble. It doesn't look good. Um, mister? Huh? Don't move. I'll be back. I'm not exactly going anywhere. Looks like another soldier. That corpse is just out of my reach. This reactor looks worse for wear. Oh, that's interesting how, like, the sign kind of, like, swings back and forth. Yeah, that's, that's an odd, like, 
that's like weirdly kind of out of place looking in like the in the re relatively like pixelated um, graphics. I don't know. Like it, it's cool though. It's a really cool effect. Okay, it's not so. budging. I don't know how to fix this on my own. Hmm. World Games, thank you for the host. The doomed person who oh oh like like what this guy is yeah yeah I see what you mean yeah. Hmm. There's nothing else I can do here. I need the code for the reactor, I guess. Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, no, that wasn't anything. Huh. Oh, I got the bolt. Oh, okay. This will be useful once I find a weapon. I didn't realize I, I had picked it up. Okay, well that might be helpful then, actually. Maybe I can do this. I can't see how that would help. Um, I don't see how... I don't see... I should probably leave. I'm not sure how I can use those things together. this this won't help here no you can't just like rub it real real hard I can feel the embossed letters underneath hmm. I don't see how not I don't I don't let's take a closer look this... it's too cool. Hmm. Yeah, so I need to get the serial number from here, I'm assuming. But... I need some way... I can't reach it from down here. If I want that candle, I'll need some way of getting the lamp down. Do that, I wonder. I don't see. I don't. I don't. Hmm. He's got nothing else. That's not going to help him. I don't see. I don't... I don't... I need some way of making a... Well, so I, I need... I think I need the wax candle from the lamp. What can I do to get that thing down? Not exactly. That qu I don't... See. That's not... I don't... It would probably just dis... I shouldn't get too close. It's not... Looks like that used to be somebody's bathroom. Nice tile floor. There's an old vent up there. It has a pull cord hanging from it. Yeah. So I can get the fan to blow air. 
into or out of this room. It causes the, the lamp to blow back and forth, but I'm not sure how to get it to blow harder or how to what to do with the lamp as it's swinging. It's my that technician does need help, but getting back to find someone is going to take a while. I should do as he says and fix the reactor first. Then I can worry about getting him out of here. Hmm. How did you end up down here? I should probably get moving before I find out the hard way. This is a reactor, apparently. There's a gas mask on it. Must be an extractor fan. Controls are probably nearby. It's some kind of control box with... It's too... Com it's too... This is the compliance plate, but it's too corroded to read. What am I supposed to do with this bolt? I don't see... I don't... Let's take a clue. This... This... I I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... Use everything on everything. I don't... 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 Missing. There's clearly some connection I'm not making. Oops. The water cools down the pipes that are connected to the reactor. He's got nothing else that can help me. I wonder what those people were doing down Looks like another soldier. This reactor looks worse for wear. Um, mister? Huh? I think this reactor needs a code, and I don't have it. Do you? You don't do this type of work often, do you? Not a reactor, no. I'm more experienced with cars, pumps, easy fixes. Lottery worker, huh? Who's the vaccine for? Why do you care? Hang on. You look familiar. Do I know you? I'm a mechanic. I've got a shop just outside town. Maybe you came in. I knew a guy named uh, Cooper Wellard once. I had a shop around there. Are you related? He was my dad. What's it matter to you? You're Cooper's girl. <laughs> so do you even care about Tiberius? I care about getting medicine. You said you wanted to help me, right? 
Yes. Do you need anything? I do. And if it works out, you'll never have to work a lottery job again. Excuse me? You heard me. But first, I need to know you're serious about helping. This sounds really sketchy. How do I know I'll be safe? I can't make any promises, but you're Cooper's kid. If I can trust anyone to help me, it's you. Oh, that's sweet. All right, I'll help you. Is that a promise? Yes. Thank you. Before my accident, I figured out that this reactor just needs a hard reset. To do that, you'll need to input the reset code, which is the unit's serial number. Uh -huh. Just find the compliance plate and you'll be good to go. By the way, how's your shooting? Could be worse, could be better. Ah. Take this. Ah. A crossbow? <sighs> it's not like I need it anymore. I picked it up off that corpse over there. It hasn't got any bolts, but I see you already got one from that other body. Thanks. Sweet. I'll see about getting that reactor started. That's what I needed. <laughs> yes. Move the mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Yep, we figured that out already. It's the crossbow the reactor tech gave me. I've got one bolt. All right. Good. I found the crossbow. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now, <laughs> cool. I get a little target. <laughs> Ding! Perfect. The lamp didn't survive the fall. Happy fun town. The candle might be useful. I'll take my bowl too. The lamp. I already took the candle. You know, take candle. An old emergency candle. It's made of red wax. Perfect. All right. Now, that's what I needed. <laughs> shooka, shooka, shooka. Compliance. Oh, 1614. Unit serial number 2794. Beautiful. Oh, I have to get the whole thing. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Seven nine four. We have the technology. We have the adventure game logic. Yeah, that was really cool. I love little like one-shot uh, interactions like that. What did I say? Two seven nine four. Wait. Oh, good. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Good job. Now get over here. Uh-oh. That was faster than I expected. Maybe there's still time to... Your optimism's cute, but I'm not going anywhere. Listen up, okay? This is how you can help me. Take this letter. It's going to Danton in the Market District. You should be able to find the right place if you ask around. Danton? Who's that? I don't know anyone named Danton in the Market District. You'll figure it out. Look, it's very important to me, and to you, that you deliver this letter. I... I understand. I'll take care of it. Great. Now for the second part of the deal. I need you to shoot me. In the head. Clean as you can. N no I, I can't. I'm in a lot of pain, kid. Let me die with some dignity. There's no way I'd get fixed up in time. We both know it. I want to go out on my own terms. I don't know if I can. Buck up, kid. It's a hard world, and in order to survive, you gotta do lots of things you don't like. Reaper be damned! I'll go out my own way! Please, let's just get this over with. In case you were wondering, this really hurts. Okay. I... I don't know. I don't think I ever got his name, and I'm guessing I have a choice here. I probably uh, can. I, I'm. I can probably leave without killing him. Danton. 
urgent. Fancy looking wax seal. That letter on it looks awfully familiar. Attention Danton. Urgent. I guess it must be. Attention, I guess. It's soaked in that poor man's blood. Well. So let's see. Mister? That's enough, kid. Keep your word. Let's see what happens if I try to leave. Where are you going? You made a promise to me, kid. You gonna force me to die slow? I don't think I can kill you. I'm sorry. Yeah, and two weeks ago, you probably didn't think you would be here. Life's hard, Peaches. Make mine easier and just do it. No, yeah, earlier in the conversation, I did promise. All right. Let's do it. Last chance. Are you sure about this? Completely. You can do it. <sighs> One last thing. Y yes? What was your name again? It's been so long since I heard Cooper talk about you. It's Amy. What's yours? Not important. Yeah. I beg your pardon? You asked before about my taking this job, who the vaccine was for. It's for me. I started feeling the symptoms about a week ago, and, well, I'm desperate. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so sorry. What's happening to you? What happened to your old man? Uh, it's not fair. You can make it right, Amy. Just deliver the letter, and everything will change. You'll see. Thank you. I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, no. Don't, uh, don't tell me the answer to that. In fact, I'm gonna restore and try to find out. Yeah. One sec. This has really gone and thrown a wrench in the works. All right. Um. Okay, first though. Where are you going? You made a yeah, life. I can't just leave him. I made a promise. I can't. Yeah, no, okay, so it won't let me leave. I also want to see what happens if I try to break, if I uh, break the seal on the, uh, on the letter. Fancy looking. Fancy. No, I can't. Fancy. Right. It's. It seems to be working just fine. There's no need to tinker around with it anymore. Mister? That's enough, kid. Keep your word. Mister? That's a- He's been cry- Yeah, that's a good question. All right, so. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. That's definitely the sort of thing that, like, um, playtesters... If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see that being, like, something that uh, playtesters would, would bring up. A reminder to all citizens, the next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held tomorrow at sundown. An old speed limit sign. It's been ages since anything traveled down a road that fast. For a while, I didn't think I was going to make it back out of there. Like hell, I'm going down there again. Might look nice on my wall, but I'll leave it be for now. It's good to see at least some plant growth in this area, even if it is just a bunch of weeds. I'm not the landscaper. I'll leave the weed pulling to someone else. What an eyesore. At least someone made it nicer by hanging some shards on the branches. <laughs> it's dead, and probably rotten and full of termites. I don't want to touch it. Fair enough. Julius Caesar now showing. That play premiered 28 years ago. 
I'm amazed this poster is still here. I don't want that as a souvenir. This is a reminder that the Ministry of Medicine will continue conducting weekly screenings for Greenlaw. I'm surprised these things are still operational. Nobody really comes out here. I wish there was a way to shut these things off permanently. Hmm, what idiot would leave this wood lying around? It's in such good condition. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. Wood in this condition is so tough to find. Yay, wood. This plank of wood is pretty sturdy. I don't need to take any more wood right now. Looks like this was abandoned here a very long time ago. It's an early 20th century model. Probably belonged to an old antique collector. Or some big shot salesman. At any rate, it's just junk now. Nothing useful in this wreck. Attention citizens, two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of last day. Look at this cool house in the background. <laughs> That's rad. A shard of uranium glass. The sun's UV rays make it glow green like that. They're the main source of artificial light in the city. I don't need it. There are plenty of shards all over. Uh. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate ministry and applying for a work permit. Once, that probably used to store fuel or some other resource. It's been empty for years, though. Nothing in there but stagnant rainwater and raven droppings. Ew. All right, let's get going, wherever we're going. Oh, hello. You red-eyed bird. That's, I'm sure that's a good sign. Ah, the overworld map. <laughs> All right, so we got Market District, West and East, my home, and the Ministry of Energy. Uh, let's go home. Let's see what there is to do here. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. Cheery. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. Looks like there's a plant growing inside this booth. Those are some pretty blue flowers. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. I can't get to the flowers. They're sealed up inside the booth. Beware the red-eyed ravens. They mean the reaper's near. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. I kept meaning to fix that gate, but I never got around to it. I don't know. It seems to have a certain charm now. It's way beyond repair, and closing it wouldn't really serve much of a purpose. The aristocracy, guiding tomorrow's youth. I know I certainly wouldn't want them getting that close to me if I was a kid. <laughs> the reaper watches from I'd love the to skies down, and sends ahead his birds. To the wall. They let him know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. Yeah. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red. The kids red, love playing outside my house. Will be They're okay, as long as they don't make too much noise. Dead. When the kids the love reaper playing out. comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in pretty his in pocket good shaped, uh, take or, you for a stroll. Uh, I mean, the house seems to be in pretty good shape. Red-eyed ravens, they mean the reaper's near. He'll take away... Hey guys, what's going on? Hi, Amy. Where did you kids find that jump rope? Jimmy found it in a field behind his house. Pretty cool, huh? We haven't had something like this to play with in a long time. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> How about letting me have a turn? Really? Sure, I was pretty good at jumping a rope when I was a kid. Well, okay. <laughs> oh boy, jump rope minigame. Oh boy. <laughs> CC my playmate, come scavenge stuff with me. 
And we'll be jolly friends. Climb up the rotten tree. <laughs> Climb down this ladder into my secret room. And we'll be jolly friends till all goes boom. <laughs> Love it. Miss Susie went to market. She heard the ringing bell. The guards came for Miss Susie and sent her off to Hello, Mr. Nero. Please do you have the time? If you don't stop and tell me, I'll kick your big behind the broken window. <laughs> there was a piece of glass. Tiberius sat on it and cut up his dumb. Ask me no more questions. <laughs> tell me no more lies. Germanicus and Claudius forgot to do their flies are on the bodies. <laughs> Ravens in the park. Miss Susie saw the Reaper in the D.A.R.K. dark. <laughs> Last night and the night before, my lungs were feeling kind of sore. Will they let me stay at home or put me in the quarantine zone? Mama, mama, I feel sick. Call the doctor quick, quick, quick. Doctor, doctor, will I die? Close your eyes and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still alive and on channel five. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 because her brother, brother, brother had an attack, tack, tack. He asked the ministry, 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 if they had work, 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 to get some medicine, 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 as a perk, perk, perk. He went away, way, way, and to this day, 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 Nobody knows, knows, knows if he's okay, K, K. Yay, world building. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for me. That's a pretty scary rhyme you're saying, isn't it? Only if you're scared of the Reaper, like Jimmy. He saw a raven yesterday and peed his pants. <laughs> Do you believe in the Reaper, Amy? Uh, sure. We did just see, like, at least two red-eyed ravens. Yes, I do. Well, I don't. It's just a dumb story. Well, you're pretty brave, Tina. Yeah, I know. Aren't you kids supposed to be in school? No, school got canceled this week because our teacher got green lung. Oh, great. That's awful. Is she going to be okay? Dunno. She didn't look too sick, so maybe she'll be back soon. I hope she is. Miss Campbell is nice. I'd be sad if she got sent to the quarantine zone. I'm sure she'll be back next week. You'll see. I'll see you kids later. Bye, Amy. It's nice to be home. I just wish I could forget about everything and stay in for the rest of the day. I'm getting uh, full throttle flashbacks here. <laughs> The hubcap from the first car I ever worked on. Just call me Mo. That's fine where it is. Of course, I'm biased, but in my opinion, that's the best decorated door in town. The old family computer hasn't worked in years, but I remember playing games on it with Dad. Aww. It's not in working condition. The motherboard fried a long time ago, and I haven't been able to find a new one anywhere. There wasn't much oil in the last can I found. Hopefully the next one will be fuller. It's not finished draining yet. A bunch of my old projects. Most of them are broken, but they have sentimental value. They're mostly broken, but I can't bring myself to throw them out. It took quite a while, but I've finally been able to amass a decent set of tools. No. These tools are for restoration work only. I'm not risking damaging them out there. Aww. This was taken shortly after they were married. They look so happy. This was taken... <laughs> he was always so happy when we were fixing things together. Not the most flattering angle, but it's a nice picture anyway. Nice to see not much has changed with these two. Oh, 
Those are so cute. That's my cast iron bucket. It comes in handy when I need to heat things up. You're coming with me, bucket. Ah, yes, a bucket. Most useful object in any adventure game. I should really start getting into the habit of making my bed. Why? Does anybody live here other than you? Who cares? Not sleepy right now. I keep stuff in here sometimes, but lately it's more decorative than functional. It's empty. I haven't kept anything in there for years. One of many tools of the trade. No time for that now. Time for what? Various mechanical parts, and junk I've picked up to use in my projects. While I like looking at my childhood knickknacks, none of them will do me any good out there. You'll be done one day soon. I promise. I won't let Dad down. I've hit a dead end on this thing. Until I find the right parts, there's not much more I can do. I wonder what she needs. Okay. Looks like that's about all there is here. We should probably go to the market district and deliver this letter. So of course we're gonna go everywhere the but there. Watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. Oh wow, look at these guys. I'm surprised Tiberius allows buildings in this condition to remain standing near his tower. I really wish I could do something to fix these up. They'd make great homes for people with nothing. The aristocrat guard. They're no pushovers. The doors to the Ministry of Energy, one of the tallest standing buildings in the city. Hello, gentlemen. You all keeping busy? Extremely. Now please, move along. <laughs> you all... Ex Hello, I'm here to see Tiberius. Very well, proceed. Cool. It's beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen so many shards in one place like that. Tiberius, in all his glory. I wonder what happened to the leg. Well, it's nice to see someone can afford to make repairs to their home. Hard at work. Making sure this place doesn't collapse. I'm afraid to breathe too close to this thing, let alone touch it. The leg doesn't look like it's too stable. Hmm. I predict that we're gonna, at some point, cause that thing to fall over. Or something's gonna cause it to fall over. It's too pretty to mess with. I'd better not get too close. If that thing comes crashing down, it'll be a nightmare. It would be rude to disturb them. The hallway goes further into the tower, eventually leading to the elevators. The aristocrat. Keep up the good work, fellas. Thank you. We will. <laughs> Welcome back, miss. I trust the job went well? Well enough. Can I go up? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to have to hold on to your weapon. I'm sure you understand. I do. Here you go. Thank you. Take the elevator to the top floor and let the soothsayer know you've arrived. Ah, uh, the soothsayer. Right. He's harmless. If he tries to tell your fortune, just go with it. it makes him feel important. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. This ought to be good. That photo gives me chills. The plaque underneath says, Blast Day. Always remembered. I really don't like looking at this. Some old guy. The plaque underneath says Caligula. Oh, lovely. Fine offending gentleman that he is. The banner has got the Ministry of Energy's symbol on it. It's the constitution that was drafted in order to form the aristocracy. It's the only way to get up the tower from down here. You've seen one guard, you've seen them all. I don't want to get too close. Who knows what kind of trouble I'd get into if I knocked it down. There's not much I can do with the banner. 
Touching that would no doubt set off about 50 alarms. I'll keep my distance. The call button for the elevator. This is one of the elite guards. They aren't allowed to speak to anyone. Hmm. Keep it together. This will be over soon. Medicine, please. Ah, hello. Please, come in. Look at that guy. He looks so cool. This tapestry isn't in the best shape. The bottom has been completely torn off. I wonder if that's a reference to Loom. It's already in bad enough shape without me touching it. Hmm. It's hard to say exactly what, but something about this decoration is extremely unsettling. There's no way I'm getting close enough to touch that. It's full of shards. Pretty, but I don't think it would help keep anyone warm. Steal a shard from right under the soothsayer's nose? Not the best idea. Creepy. I wonder who that used to be. If that's supposed to make this place any less spooky, it's not doing a very good job of it. I think it's supposed to be a painting of someone riding a horse, but it's too abstract for me to be able to say for sure. That's creepy. I'm not messing with that. That plant is a hallucinogenic. No wonder this guy has visions. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't touch it. Someone might get upset. Touch all the things. A bunch of baubles and trinkets. No idea what they could be for. Please don't touch those. You'll contaminate their auras. I feel like he's staring right into my soul. You are the girl who was sent to repair the reactor, are you not? Yes, that's right. I've done the job. Excellent. Minister Tiberius will be most pleased. I have been authorized to give you your payment. One ticket for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Oh my. Is something wrong? Your aura. I felt it when I brushed your hand. My aura? Yes. You must allow me to give you spiritual counsel. I sense great turmoil within you. Sure you do. No, that's okay. I... Please, I insist. There is no need to be afraid of the spirits. I can promise they are more afraid of you. <laughs> oh, what the hell. I'll need both hands, please. Now please, relax. I need to study your aura. Hmm, interesting. Your soul appears to have a tiny seam right in the center. A loose thread, dangerously close to unraveling. Hmm. The source of this seems to be... A decision which torments you. What did you encounter on your job, if I may ask? I met a dying man. He made me promise to deliver a letter. I see. Do you have this letter with you? Yes, it's right here. No, don't give it to him. I see it. I feel it has great importance. No. No. Mm, yes, fascinating. No, no, no. Minister Tiberius would be most interested in this. Mm -mm. You should speak with him about it. He is just up the stairs. You may tell him I have sent you. Thanks. That was very informative. Think nothing of it. I want to go to the marketplace first. <laughs> Where are you going? Minister Tiberius is expecting you. Damn it. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, I bet... Um, so I bet what... Um, what probably would have happened is if I had gone to the marketplace first, the guy I was supposed to deliver the letter to was not there. The ticket is for this week's vaccine lottery. It's number 3211420. My cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. Mm -hmm. Let me see something real quick. Let me explore an alternative uh, path here. What's 
not go to the ministry. The aristocracy is a friend of the people. I probably shouldn't mess around with that. <laughs> Attention citizens, two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remem remembrance of last day. Gordon's good people. He's had it pretty rough lately. Poor Gordon. He actually thinks this stuff is valuable. I'm not interested in any of this junk. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Are you feeling all right? It's strange to see you with a face mask. I'm okay. Just being careful. I saw my neighbor cough up blood the other day, so... What about your daughter? She's staying at a friend's house while I'm out during the day. I've got her wearing a cloth mask, too. I just wish I could get her something better, like an actual gas mask. Don't we all? Business doing okay, Gordon? Could be better. Could always be better. I'm getting desperate, thinking of taking a lottery job. I just came from doing one myself, actually. No kidding. I was starting to wonder where you'd been lately. Who for? Tiberius. Oof. I don't envy you there. But I meant who was the vaccine for? Oh, I just thought it might be good to have some. Just in case, you know? That's not a bad idea at all. And you're young enough that those jobs make sense. I don't think I'm cut out for energy work myself. I'd probably go to resources and maybe knowledge. Lottery jobs are still lottery jobs, Gordon. I don't think they get any easier based on ministry. You're probably right. Well, I hope I sell a lot today, then. How's the Quicksilver restoration going, by the way? Slowly, as always. Still looking for those elusive parts. Well, I wish you luck. I'm always on the lookout for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Have you got anything good for sale? Nothing that would interest you currently, but I get new things in all the time. If you check back later, I'll let you know when I've got something you'll like. Sweet. Do you know anyone around here named Danton? Danton? Doesn't sound familiar. Sorry. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. All right, then. <laughs> Slap. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate ministry and applying for a work permit. This leads into a small alley. Clem usually sets up shop in there. It's pointing into the alley, and it says Clem's Crockery. Seems to be a makeshift signpost, but it's more decorative than informative these days. Gus never has all that much in stock, but even this seems like a measly selection. This old heap has certainly seen better days. Clem has a hard enough time convincing people to come into his alley. Taking this sign will only make it worse. <laughs> I wish this thing would get updated. Yeah, yeah, because a vaccine is supposed to... A vaccine doesn't cure anything, a vaccine is preventative. Amazing how it manages to grow so high. It's way too high for me to reach. Not that I'd need to. I wish this thing would get updated. Even though it's been a while since I last ate, they still don't look very appetizing. It's in no condition to be operated, and it looks like it's already been completely scavenged for parts. I know it's not good to judge people, but this guy is creepy. I've known Gus since we were kids. I'm glad he decided to stick with his family's business. That farm needs all the help it can get. Whoa, that statue's cool. I remember that statue terrifying me when I was younger. Now it just looks sad. Dad told me this thing was built years before I was born. I think it's called the Ideals of Man. It's huge. The image on this banner means that there's water nearby. I shouldn't tear down the banner. People need to know where to get water. Looks like Denby's up to something, as usual. <laughs> it's 
go check out that alley first. A buzzer. I guess someone once lived in this building. This door seems overly secure, considering it goes into an abandoned building. Perhaps not so abandoned, huh? Interesting. There's a chalkboard on the wall here. Looks like there's some fancy letters printed on it. Can't see any chalk, though. <laughs> That's a good sound effect. Sale. Definitely not Clem's. He hasn't had a sale in years. It's out of my reach. Poor Clem. I can't imagine he gets much business holed up in this alley. I wonder where Clem gets the materials to make all this stuff. I'm not interested in this stuff. I've got my mother's old set at home. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? How's business? Traffic in this alley isn't exactly bustling. Yeah, but people know where to find me. I'm not starving, so I suppose I'm doing okay. Why don't you move to a better location? I've got my reasons. I'll take your word for it. What about you? Repair business going okay? Yeah, I'm taking a little break for now, but it's been steady. Hey, as long as life's cozy, you do what you want. <laughs> cozy, yes. That's exactly how I'd describe life around here. Got anything good available today? I glazed some of the bowls I made from the abandoned terracotta near the salt flats. Ah, look at how they shine in the light. That's lovely, but not really my style. If I had a food voucher for every time somebody told me that... Maybe if you had something with more color? Yeah, I know. It just ain't so easy getting colored glazes. If business is bad, I don't want to waste them on pots that won't sell. I'm looking for someone named Danton. Hmm. The name sounds familiar, but... But what? But I don't know if I could be of much help. Maybe if you had some more information. Hmm. What's with the chalkboard on the wall? That old thing? Been there as long as I can remember. Maybe the person who lived in the building used it as a message board. Who knows? Are you sure you can't tell me anything about Danton? Sorry, Amy. I don't think I can. Maybe if you had something else besides just the name. Hmm. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. I suspect Clem might be my key to this Danton person. All right, what's your deal, Mr. Reaper cultist? Young lady, have you made peace with yourself and loved ones? Death is coming, and we must be prepared to welcome it with open arms. What? The Reaper patrols the skies in search of the next chosen one. Will it be you? I don't think it will. Gosh, I hope Do not. Do not be so quick to dismiss him. Was there something in particular you wanted? I really should be going. So be it. Hello, Alexander. And hello, Grandislav. Welcome. <laughs> Glad you uh, decided to pop in. Thank you for making this game. It's pretty cool so far, although I'm very early on. Uh, so. Uh, excuse me? May I help you? I really should be going. So be it. Well, well. Look who decided to stop by. Nice to see you too, Gus. How can I be of service? The farm holding up all right? Not so great. We've been having a pretty rough year so far. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm not sure how we'll recover, to be honest. I'm not even sure how much longer we'll be able to keep doing this. Might have to close up shop and head somewhere else. I wish Pop hadn't been so stubborn and invested in one of those automated farm hands. We could have been nice and comfy doing government work. And you could have gotten in on the action and fixed them for us when they broke. <laughs> How come you never offered to repair stuff for the aristocrats, anyway? I apply every week, but they just don't want me, I guess. Because they it's suck. Fine. I get by with my freelance repairs. Yeah, well. I don't know what they're missing. What's on sale today? 
See for yourself. Stock's a bit limited, but I've got this chicken and some slabs of meat. They're a bit scrawny, but salt and dry them, and they should last you a fair bit. See anything you fancy? It all looks nice, Gus, but I haven't got anything to trade. Could give you something on credit, you know that. Yeah, I know. Aww. I appreciate the offer, but I'm okay. I'll come back if it's been a few days. Don't let it get to that point if you can. It's not healthy. You need to eat. You're starting to sound like Mariska. <laughs> I have this cool chunk of wood. Wood is valuable, right? Do you know someone called Danton? Danton? Never heard of him. Sorry. See you later, Gus. You bet. It's good to see Gus getting customers. Better not. Gus wouldn't appreciate me distracting his customers. Hi, Denby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Look at him. What are you up to? Oh, you know, standing, breathing, the usual. <laughs> so, what's that behind you, then? Oh, that? Just my latest piece, in the works. Another art project? Yeah. I need to take a break from forging handwriting. It, it, it <laughs> pays the bills, but doesn't feed the soul. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Anyway, I've got this chalk, so I'm trying to, like, think of something funny to put on the wall. I just haven't gotten any good ideas yet. Ooh, how about you give me that chalk? Where did you get that chalk, anyway? I made it. You made it? Yeah. From Marichka's dandruff. <laughs> but effective. <laughs> Quit messing around, Denby. Fine. You promise not to tell anyone? Promise. Okay, well, I was scavenging around Fripp Square, and I broke into one of the classrooms at the fancy rich kid school. Denby! There wasn't anyone around. It's not like they'll miss it. I swear, Denby, I am not pulling your ass out of jail. I know what I'm doing. Besides, they deserve it. People are starving out here, and the aristocrats are just sitting around, powdering their wigs. With chalk. So, do you need all that chalk? Can I have some? Sorry, Amy. I only have one piece, and I need it to finish this drawing. Not even a tiny Just little bit? Break it in half. I can't. You want some? Help me break into the place next time. Next time? Uh, I mean, never again. Ever, ever. <laughs> I like Denby. <laughs> Do you know of someone called Danton? No, that's a pretty stupid sounding name if you ask me. I think I have an idea for your drawing. Really? What is it? Um. <laughs> you could draw Tiberius with stink lines coming off him. Yeah, and I'll write Tiberius stinks underneath. Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that right away. Yes. Stick it to the man. It really is a nice day to be out in the market. That sign has been there as long as I can remember. But as far as who Ray actually was, I have no idea. <laughs> yes. Just, uh, scintillating political commentary there. I haven't got anything to say. That sign has been there. Pretty impressive selection this week. Mariska actually managed to fill up her entire stand. Feels like only half the stock is rotten. That's a nice change from the norm. <laughs> Mariska always seems to have food to sell, and is always trying to feed me. That's a good thing, right? Hello, Mariska. Amy, hello! How's the day treating you so far? Well enough. Luckily, the guard bell hasn't sounded today. I get so upset when they come through here. Have they been coming through here a lot lately? A bit more than normal. It makes me so mad. I know, it's annoying. But just try to forget about it. As long as they don't bother you, it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone named Danton. Do you know who that is? Danton? Hmm, Danton. No, never heard of that person before. Who is it? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? You got it. Let's see. There's a well over here. Ooh. Hello, cool-looking dude. 
Just an empty shell of a Wilton ladybird. Too bad. These things use carburetors instead of fuel injectors. It's already been picked clean. Looks like it could come crashing down at any moment. I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. This Anyone handle siphons the water the from the ground and into the well. So I'm visiting the appropriate ministry and applying for a work permit. This handle siphons the water up from the ground and into the well. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> this water might not be the cleanest, but at least it's drinkable. The well's been filled recently. I'm not really thirsty right now. Ooh, maybe I can put some water in it. I can't in a bucket. see any reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. There's always a reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. This is an adventure game. Either water or some other Attention substance. Citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. Nelson's book stand. He's so kind to let people borrow books. Oh, he's a librarian. Yay! There doesn't seem to be any escape from those things. Tearing these things down would be such a relief, but it would also get me in major trouble. I should talk to Nelson if I want to read any books. Nelson is probably one of the smartest people I know. A reminder to all citizens, the next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held tomorrow at sundown. I think that used to be a broadcast tower, but it's been years since it was in use. It's way too far. Nelson, hi Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? How's it going, Nelson? Have you had many visitors today? You're the first. But the day is still young. I'm sure someone will come along. Could you tell me what it was like before the bombs? Yes, of course. It's always nice to recall the old days. On sunny days, the sky used to be a beautiful shade of blue. You remember that? Vaguely. I was only five when the bombs fell. There's a lot of photos of it in my books, so the memory isn't completely lost, but it's not quite the same. What else can you tell me about life before the bombs? There were so many things people had. Electricity, running water, mobile phones. I think most of us took those things for granted. People used to say that technology was ruining our humanity, that we were forgetting how to talk to each other if it wasn't through some device. Funny how it took the near collapse of society to bring us back together. <laughs> yes, physics, this is WoW Classic. <laughs> a very uh, a little known section of the game that nobody knows about but, but me. <laughs> Do you have any other stories about life before the bombs? Things weren't always perfect, you know. We had been at war for who knows how many years. I lost count of how many attempts at peace were made before starting to fight all over again. Who were we at war with? <laughs> the SPA. They were, or I suppose still are, a union of countries who wanted our reserves of petroleum and minerals. In the end, they decided if they couldn't have them, no one could. And so they bombed us. <laughs> yeah. People reading all these newfangled novels? <laughs> Having ideas? Putting thoughts in their heads? No good can come of this. Tell me something else about what it was like before the bombs. I remember when I'd come home from teaching at the university. My wife would have dinner prepared and we'd eat together while listening to music. That was our nightly tradition. Dinner, some nice jazz, and hot mint tea afterwards. It wasn't anything special, but it was our life. Aww. I think that's probably what I miss the most. Aww. Is there anything else you can tell me about life before the bombs? I think that's enough stories for now. No more stories. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to sell your books? Knowledge should always be free, Amy. Anyone can borrow what I have. Remember, if you ever want to take a break and enjoy a book, you're welcome to. Yay! 
Have you heard of someone called Danton? Danton? I know a historical figure named Danton. Is that who you mean? I'm not sure exactly. I'm looking for someone who goes by the name Danton. Ah, well, then I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Well, maybe tell me about this historical figure. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? Hmm. I'm interested in learning something about history. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. What you got? A Time of Unrest, Dr. Robert H. Pert. Oops. Oh. Okay. The shadow of the Third World War has been looming over our society for years. Seemingly every new conflict, no matter the scale, has at some point been regarded as a potential global war. Entering the 21st century, we as a society seem to have felt a false sense of security. It had been over 60 years since the start of World War II, and despite close calls such as the Cuban Missile Crisis during the Cold War and the Iraqi Wars of the late 20th, early 21st centuries, nothing had escalated to a global scale. The current conflict between the socialist powers of Asia and the Oceanic Republic, however, seems the likeliest to become the much feared World War III. The SPAOR conflict began shortly after the turn of the century and has been ongoing for 20 years. At its root is a territorial dispute over the Pacific island of Lapau, from which the OR conducts most of its offshore drilling for, petro for petroleum. The SPA claims rights to the island as it was formerly part of their coalition before claiming independence and subsequently being annexed by the OR in, in 2035. Despite the signing of peace treaties on at least two occasions, the conflict has reignited, has reignited and continued. Surrounding countries have felt pressure from both sides to get involved, but the geopolitical implications of doing so have stopped them. However, with recent developments in the SPA's research into chemical weapons, they may soon not have much of a choice. All right then, what else you got? Hey, Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to- Of course. Let's do philosophy. I'm interested in reading about philosophy. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. The Nature of Man, T.N. Juan. The nature of man has been debated for centuries. There are two questions which have often been asked and whose answers have been debated ever since. <laughs> These questions are the following. One, can the nature of man be changed? Two, what can change the nature of man? <laughs> Planescape Torment reference right there. <laughs> to some, the nature of man is apparent from birth, and, th and, though, and though life experiences may shape and form personality, a man's true nature or self will not change. <laughs> Three, what is a man? <laughs> yes. To this school of thought, the evil will remain evil, and the good will, will remain good throughout their lives. To others, the nature of man can in fact be changed, which raises the second question. Some have given examples of extreme changes in people, driven by such motives as revenge, love, fear, or regret. However, it cannot be universally agreed upon which of these things can truly change the nature of man. <laughs> A miserable pile of bullshit! <laughs> Abridged versions of all his books, yeah. What else you got, Nelson? Good to see I think I'd- Of course. I'd like to read something about art. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Modern Artists, Marion Bendersky. Rail Bay, PC Heidel. A characteristically moody piece, Heidel's warm colors and energetic brush strokes are in full force here. Painted before his death, this scene shows the artist returning to his roots and capturing the bay near his childhood home. It's widely considered the artist's best work, and now hangs in the Melbourne Art Gallery. Did, uh, did Ben do these, uh, pieces of art specifically for this book? <laughs> the Pit, Eleanor Ilchi. Oh, Ilchi's a reference to, uh, an artist who does a lot of, who does, um... Well, I've forgotten his name. Crap. I follow him on Twitter and I forgot his name. But he's, he's, he does, he's done, um face portraits for several Wajidai games. Themes of death and torment were common in Ilchi's work, although, although, although rarely treated this seriously. Wretched and desperate figures try to pull themselves and each other from the pit of hell, a scene shown in bold, angry colors. Eleanor would never return to the subject with such melancholy again, preferring to joke with and taunt death in her works instead. 
Miriam Bendersky's a combination. The first and last name of Ben and my high school art teacher is awesome. <laughs> I love like like goofy references like that. <laughs> oh, and now that's it. No more art. Sad. Ivan Ulyanov, thank you. Oh, I'm so mad I couldn't remember his name. This is a reminder that the thank you. We'll continue conducting weekly screenings for Green Lock. I knew it was Ivan something. I choose to blame Dan ben, ben, me for the missing page. That that seems fair. Um, okay, looks like that's all there is here. Silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of oh, another customer. It's good to see. Oh, okay, so it goes east and then west. All right, cool. So, okay, so, okay, so I, I, there wasn't really any point in, in going here before going to the, uh, the ministry, I guess. But, uh, so now we can go back to the ministry and pretend that we didn't already go there. <laughs> the aristocrat. You all keeping busy? Extremely. Now please, move along. Hello. I'm here to see Tiberius. Very well. Proceed. Tiberius, in all his glory. I wonder what happened to the leg. I'm afraid to breathe too close to this thing, let alone touch it. The leg doesn't look like it's too stable. The aristocrat guard. There are no pushovers. Ah, it's an isolated island nation. Okay, good to know. Welcome back, miss. I trust the job went well? Well enough. Can I go up? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to have to hold on to your weapon. I'm sure you understand. I do. Here you go. Thank you. Take the elevator to the top floor and let the soothsayer know you've arrived. Ah, the soothsayer. Right. He's harmless. If he tries to tell your fortune, just go with it. It makes him feel important. Thanks for the advice. That photo gives me chills. The plaque underneath says, Blast Day, always remembered. I really don't like looking at this. <laughs> yeah, look, if you, if you say it's canon, then it's canon. <laughs> Word of God. <laughs> you've seen one guard, you've seen them all. This is one of the elite guards. They aren't allowed to speak to anyone. It's the constitution that was drafted in order to form the aristocracy. Touching that would no doubt set off about 50 alarms. I'll keep my distance. Yep. <coughs> keep it together. This will be over soon. Ah, hello. Please, come in. Nope, goodbye. <laughs> Where are you going? Minister Tiberius is expecting you. <laughs> oh no, this game has been out for several years. I just haven't gotten around to playing it until now. If that's supposed to make this place any less spooky, it's not doing a very good job of it. That plant is a hallucinogenic. No wonder this guy has visions. It's full of shards. Pretty, but I don't think it would help keep anyone warm. I feel like he's staring right into my soul. That leads up to Tiberius's penthouse. You are the girl who was sent to repair the reactor, are you not? <laughs> yes, that's right. I've done the job. Excellent. Minister Tiberius will be most pleased. I have been authorized to give you your payment. One ticket for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Oh my. Is something wrong? Your aura. I felt it when I brushed your hand. My aura? Yes. You must allow me to give you spiritual counsel. 
I sense great turmoil within you. No, that's okay. I... Please, I insist. There is no need to be afraid of the spirits. I can promise they are more afraid of you. Oh, what the hell. I'll need both hands, please. Now please, relax. <laughs> I need to study your aura. Yeah, so often happens. Interesting. Your soul appears to have a tiny seam right in the center. A loose thread, dangerously close to unraveling. The source of this seems to be a decision which torments you. What did you encounter on your job, if I may ask? And your beeswax. He made me promise to deliver a letter. I see. Do you have this letter with you? Yes, it's right here. May I see it? I feel it has great importance. Hmm, yes. Fascinating. Minister Tiberius would be most interested in this. Can't have it. You should speak with him about it. Nope. He is just up the stairs. You may tell him I have sent you. Thanks. That was very informative. Think nothing of it. Minister Tiberius is expecting you. It would be best not to keep him waiting. The ticket is... All right, all right. He looks really cool. I like I like I I I love the way he's designed. So good job there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, hello. <laughs> yes. What is it, citizen? <laughs> Your soothsayer gave me my ticket, but he said I should see you. Ah, lottery worker. Thank you for your service. What was your task? The broken reactor in Sector 82. You had sent another technician ahead before me. Ah, yes, of course. The one that never reported back. I take it you made his acquaintance. I did. He had been crushed under some rubble. I had to... Yes, quite unfortunate. I suppose you can consider yourself lucky that you did not meet the same fate. Perhaps this good fortune will continue for tomorrow's lottery drawing. <laughs> now then, what exactly did you want to speak to me about, Miss... Wellard. Amy Wellard. Well, the man who died, he gave me this letter. Oh? And he wanted you to deliver it to me? No, actually. He asked me to deliver it to someone called Danton. I beg your pardon. Did you say Danton? Yes. Somewhere in the market district. I see. Do you intend to honor this man's dying wish? Yes, I made a promise and I plan to keep it. Then I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. A word of warning, however. I have heard that this Danton runs in rather undesirable social circles. I'm sure I could take care of myself. I have no doubt that you can. However, I also think it would behoove you to refrain from mentioning any contact with me. Once you have delivered your letter, come back here. I believe I will have more work for you, with better pay. You are interested in more work, aren't you? I don't know. That last job was pretty dangerous, and I... Very well. You have your payment. If you choose to return for more work, I will not turn you away. Know, however, that my generosity has its limits. Now, if you've nothing else to discuss, I bid you good day. I said good day. <laughs> That's, uh, Abe Goldfarb. Sorry, my sweet boy. Where were we in today's lesson? That's, uh, the voice actor who does, uh, Joey Malone in the Blackwell games. And he's in pretty much every single Why Did I game, and he's awesome. So, good to hear him again. Hey, Harper. I feel like... Your aura is one of the more vibrant ones I have seen in some time. Uh, okay... Hey, bye. Here's your weapon back. Thank you, sir. By order of Tiberius, I've restocked your crossbow with a couple of balls. Oh, nice. Consider it a gift from the Ministry for your loyal service. Thanks. Soothsayer give you any trouble? No, but he didn't exactly impress me with his insight. I mean, he didn't even tell me I was... Anyway, I might be back later. Hmm. <laughs> All right then. 
Um, I guess let's continue to look for Danton. Maybe something has changed in the market district. Who is this dude? Lots of people look at Gordon's stuff. Not many people actually buy anything, though. I don't like to be interrupted when I'm shopping. I doubt this person does either. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. My trusty crossbow. I've got two bolts. Attention, citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. Actually, yeah, now we have a little bit more information about him, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe Clem can tell us a bit more. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? Are you sure you can't tell me anything about Danton? Sorry, Amy. I don't think I can. Maybe if you had something else besides just the name. Hmm, I guess not. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. It's good to see. I know it's not. Uh, May I help? I really. So. Nothing new out of you. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. <laughs> see you later, Gus. You bet. What, the guy down in the reactor wasn't dead enough for you? Hi, Dunby. Oh, uh. Hi, Amy. Danton, yeah. Dantooine. Are those Tiberius's guards coming around the corner? What? No way, they can't be. I didn't hear the bell ring. Oh, sorry. It was just someone in a blue jacket and hat. My mistake. You have a sick sense of humor, Amy. <laughs> See you later, Denby. See ya. Ah, so the bell. Okay. That bell is used to announce the arrival of one of the aristocrats or their guards. It's never good news when it rings. Hmm. I can't ring it by hand. It operates automatically. Perhaps my trusty crossbow might be able to help there. Hmm. <laughs> I think I can get a clear shot from here. Oh, crap! <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Chalk, please. <laughs> that was a pretty good trick, Amy. I won't tell him it was you. <laughs> I just hope he learned his lesson. A yoink? Well, since Denby's no longer using it, I'll just hold on to it for him. Aw, oh, there's no, like, chalk drawing to look at. I can't remember the last time I actually saw one of these. <laughs> Repeating hallway doors to, like, groovy 60s music. <laughs> okay, so I have chalk, but... Hmm... doesn't super help me. They've been painted on. I can't figure out what these letters and numbers are supposed to mean. Hmm. It doesn't look like I can spell out Danton or anything. There's a D, but I don't see an A anywhere. Some of them repeat. Hmm. Fancy looking wax seal. That letter on it looks awfully familiar. Hmm. Pretty. 
I wonder when it last held any flowers. Nah, I can't afford to break Clem's merchandise. Marishka always seems to... Hello, Mar Amy! Hello! I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? I wonder if I can get my bolt back from shooting the bell. Probably not. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you. I'll see you. I look forward to your return. I'm not really thirsty right now. No point getting that wet. Hmm. Here. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red. Well, there is green lung. I mean, that's seems to be the uh, the illness du jour. Hey guys, what's going on? Hi, Amy. I'll see you kids later. Bye, Amy. Beware the red eyed reaper. I can break into this booth now? Near. <laughs> yeah. Amy, what are you doing? Just letting these flowers breathe. Don't get near the broken glass, okay? Okay. At least now the plant can get some fresh air fresh air. I really hope I don't have to keep dealing with broken glass today. Cool. Now I have a flower. Nice color. It's a welcome change from all this green and brown. The reaper watches from the At sky least now and sends ahead his birds. I don't they need to let take him any more know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the Reaper will be coming. <laughs> yes. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Oh, cool. I can just walk right in. That's cool. Keep up the good work, fellas. Thank you. We will. Tiberius is not seeing anyone else right now. Please come again later. Hmm. Oh, maybe, uh... Maybe now that I have that flower, I can put it in the vase for some reason? I don't know why, just because I can. I don't see how I can use that there. I guess not. I don't see. I don't think he'd be interested in that. So I'm not really any closer to finding Danton, though. Like, all, all of the, all that Tiberius told me was that he runs in unsavory social circles. But I mean, yeah, so does everyone, apparently. Hmm. Maybe. Clem, you know how I was asking about Danton? It's because I was given this letter to deliver. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. Not really. No. Sorry. Uh, okay. Thanks anyway. Hmm. No, this is not a Sierra game. 
because it's, uh, it's unlikely I can die in any way in this game, actually. Hey, Hence... Amy. What? Uh. I suggest you brush up on your calligraphy. Come again? Just some advice is all. Yeah. Do you have any less cryptic advice? You'll figure it out. Hmm. What kind of advice is brush up on your calligraphy? Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps uh, Nelson might be able to help with that. Maybe he has a book about it or something. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you. I think I'd like. Of course. There we go. I feel I need to brush up on my calligraphy. You don't say. <laughs> In that case, allow me to give you one of my books on the subject. It will definitely help you. Thanks. Oh, he just gave it to me. Neo-Gothic calligraphy. Ah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Word. Okay, so there's that. That's what this is. This is the the M that was on my on on the seal. I don't understand what this is supposed to. Wait. So hold on. But then all of these... Okay, okay. So, everything that's shaded in... Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Maybe. Let's go, let's go give this a shot. clear on how to deal with the diagonals. Like, as far as I can tell, so it should be like these three, and then these three, these two, this one, this one, this one. And that one, and then maybe that one too? I guess? Um, let's see what happens if I do that. Can I- it would be nice if I could like, have the book open while I'm doing this. Can I do that? Kinda. <laughs> okay, so... Or do I just- do I actually have to draw the thing? Hold on. Ah, keep doing this. All right. Okay. So. And then down three. Okay. So let's 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 try just drawing the thing like that, and then. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then the next one over and down two. Hold 
like that. And then same as the first one and then down to the bottom right. Should be right, but now what? Now what indeed? Buzzer? Hmm. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? What did you mean when you said I should brush up on my calligraphy? You know, Amy, when I was a kid, I learned two very important things. One was don't leave the kiln on when you're throwing clay. The other is that sometimes it pays to read between the lines. You get me? I think I do. Yes. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. Okay. No need to mess around with it anymore. No, I want to pick it up. I want to look at it again. No need to mess. I wanted to see what letters were covered. Or were uncovered, rather. Damn it. <laughs> I love that sound effect. <laughs> I don't see. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, okay. Pfft, duh. All right. Okay, so I can still. Oh! Ah, knock X5, buzz X4. All right, okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> well, that did something. Okay. Hmm. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? See you later, Clem. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Amy. So, I guess, can I open the door now? Oh, I guess I can. Ah, huh, cool. You! Come down here! Who are you? And what are you doing in here? My name is Amy, and I have a message for Danton. And? What is it? Is this thing I am I'm holding? She doesn't look very friendly. Tough looking guy. I wouldn't want to get on his bad side. He's studying some documents. Looks pretty engrossed. He's sound asleep. Just <laughs> know things are relaxed enough around here that he can do that. Those don't look too comfortable. He seems to be hard at work on something. <laughs> it looks like a radio. Way over at the edge of the screen. <laughs> uh, hi. Well, that's just rude. He looks busy. I better not. Now is not the time for a nap. You said you got a message for Danton? I'm waiting. Now is not the... I don't want to wake him. I want to mess with everyone else first. And, and pretend like you're not even... Like you're not even there. Alright, fine. Here. Here. I was given this letter to deliver to Danton. I see. Wait here a sec. Who are you and where did you get this? <laughs> Anton, I presume? Indeed. Now answer my question. Where did you get this letter? It was given to me by a technician in Sector 82. He gave it to you? Why? What happened to him? He was crushed under some rubble. He gave me the letter after I agreed to, well, put him out of his misery. I tried getting him out of there, I swear, but he said this was more important. 
Milton was a good man. His loyalty won't be forgotten. Milton he wouldn't have given that letter to just anyone, Danton. She must have earned his trust somehow. Yes. Although I still have a few questions. What were you doing down there in the first place? I'm getting some, like, Carla the Swordmaster vibes from her. <laughs> uh, I feel like we should probably be honest with her. I was doing a job, fixing the reactor. He was down there, crushed, dying. Was he now? Yes, and he asked me to deliver this letter. I don't know about her, Danton. Are we sure she's not lying? Bruce makes a good point. You could have just stolen this letter. How can we be sure you didn't? <laughs> if I had stolen it, why would I have gone through the trouble of delivering it? If you're a government spy, you'd go to any lengths to find us. I'm curious. What was it you said to Milton that made him give you this letter? He asked me about my dad. Turns out they knew each other. Oh? Yeah. Cooper Wellard. What? You're Cooper Wellard's daughter? Come to think of it, I do see a resemblance. I never heard anything about him having a daughter. Did you know? No, I... Hang on. Just who are you people, anyway? Hmm. Seems he protected you from us. Can't say I blame him. Thank you for delivering this letter. In exchange for it, we'll let you out of here. But you must swear to me not to tell anyone what you've seen in here. I thought you were supposed to help me. Why shouldn't I just go tell everyone how pointless this was? <laughs> in time, your help will come. Meanwhile, I strongly discourage telling anyone about our presence. I would hate to have to do anything to stop you. Fine. I swear I won't say anything. I'm glad that's settled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to read this message. Do be careful with what you stumble into, Amy. And I'll just take that book off your hands. No, my book. Tough lady. The best leaders tend to be, yes. That- Oop, what? That's far enough. Get back. No. Oh. That's- I wanted to poke around. Tough looking guy. I wouldn't want to get on his bad side. Hey. What do you want? What are you doing here? I'll tell you what I don't do, and that's answer questions from strangers off the street. Fine, I see how it is. Are you Danton's personal bodyguard? That's right. I make sure only the right people get to see her. And exactly who are the right people? People who don't ask a lot of questions. Keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi. Well, that's just rude. All right then. Well, I guess I have no choice but to uh, skedaddle. So, found Danton, did you? Yeah, interesting lady. You could say that, but her heart's in the right place. So I take it you're involved with those people in there somehow. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just keeping my nose where it belongs. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't just give you the secret knot, but it's not really in my place. I knew you'd get it on your own. Fair enough. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your business. Have a good one, Amy. Thanks. Nice. Hey, Revan Z. Yeah, despite, like, an article on some gaming website coming out every two years or so saying, Hey, guess what? The adventure game genre is alive again. It never died. <laughs> People keep saying it did, but it didn't. It just kind of... It just went underground a little bit. There's definitely still a thriving adventure game community if you know where to look. It took a break, yeah. It just... It's just it, it, it didn't... It kind of fell out of the mainstream is what happened. Yeah, I mean, like, there was a time when it, like, it, there, def there definitely was a time when it wasn't really active. Uh, definitely not as active as it used to be, because, like, all these other, like, video game genres were kind of gaining popularity. And as a result, um, the, you know, typical point-and-click or text parser adventure game, um, f it, it, fell, it fell out of favor, uh, but it didn't, it never, it never completely died. Um... Despite people and their hot takes. 
saying otherwise. No, not now. Uh oh. Relax. Deep breaths. You can beat this. You can beat this. Oof. Are you all right, young lady? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. If you don't mind my saying, you don't look fine at all. I'm fine, really. I was just. I was just out of breath. Lying to yourself isn't the answer. You should embrace your demise. <laughs> oh, I should, should I? You've been mocked. It's obvious. The Reaper is coming for you. Oh, joy. You should consider yourself lucky. It's only a matter of time before you pass on into the next world and liberate yourself from this misery. Look, creepy. I'm not spending what time I have left alive worshipping death, okay? Leave me alone. If that's what you want, then I will. But remember that accepting him will make your remaining life much easier. Should you change your mind, the Acolytes of the Reaper will welcome you at the Cathedral of St. Stephen. The one with a half a plane sticking out of it? <laughs> that is the one! May death come to you swiftly, young lady. I know you think that's a, like a blessing. I'm gonna need a few more lottery tickets after all. Okay. I know it's not. Uh, excuse me. May I help you? I really should be going. So be it. Breathing mini game. There should be. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I just replayed that game recently. Ah, there's the Cathedral of St. Stephen. That's so cool. Ah, oh, it was like a statue like coming out of the... Like half suspended from the, the wall there. Look at these people, they're so stylish. I love them. Judging from the location, I would say that head belongs to the broken statue. I don't think carrying around a severed marble head will help much. It would just weigh me down. It's creepy how you can't see the face underneath the hood. This statue has been heavily damaged. It's practically unrecognizable. Someone once told me that this is the patron saint of sudden death. How fitting. <laughs> I don't think I can do much to fix it. They look strong. She looks kind of happy. She's smiling anyway. Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? <laughs> who are you, miss? I'm Claire. Who are you? Amy. I'm guessing you're one of the acolytes of the Reaper. You guessed correctly. I'm here to make sure those who pass through that door are ready to die. That seems like a pretty lofty responsibility to give to one person. Not as much as you would think. Most people are worthy, they just don't know it yet. Right? They may be creepy, but they have, um, like, just, I've joined this cult just for the uniform. Heck yeah. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Worship. We worship the Reaper and wait for our times to come. When any of our members expire, it's cause for celebration. Are there many of you? Around 50 of us currently, but we always accept those who truly seek death into our flock. Can I go in? That depends. Are you ready to die? No, of course not. I've got too much left to do before I go. Then maybe you should get on with it. Time is precious after all. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome. Can that de are you Yes. I'm ready to die. Hmm. You lack conviction. You still need to prepare yourself to be ready to die. You should come back when you're serious. Alright, fine. Hey! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Inside the cathedral? Not without getting clearance from me, you aren't. I'll just be going. Farewell. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm sure there'll be a reason for me to go in there at some point. But I guess for now, I should go back to the Ministry of Energy and 
of injury, <laughs> Ministry of Injury, <laughs> Ministry of Energy, and uh, try to get more um, tickets, which means more jobs. If the lovely Tiberius will deign to see me. I have business with Tiberius. Very good. Your weapon, please. Welcome back. I had a vision I'd be seeing you again. Sure you did. A chill wind blows from the east. I fear this is an ill omen. Ah, you return! Yes, and I delivered the letter to Danton. Excellent. You have made contact with them. Good work. So, do you have any more jobs for me? Yes, as promised. As I'm sure you've gathered, Danton is the head of a group of terrorists bent on destroying the government. I need you to be my spy. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Are you serious? Quite serious, I'm afraid. I can assure you that they have nothing but the destruction of our society in mind. Would you watch this new civilization we've struggled to build be undone by a group of upstarts? No, but they don't really seem like much of a threat, just a group of idealists. Yes, and the last time a group of idealists formed, they attempted to destroy the Ministry of Knowledge. Danton's group is an ever-growing threat, and they must be controlled and subdued as quickly as possible. Return to them. Tell them you wish to aid them. If they request you perform some task for them, do so to gain their trust. Of course, use your judgment wisely. If you break any laws, I can only offer you so much protection. When you know more of what they plan, come back and inform me. And as before, do not let them know you are there on my behalf. They would surely kill you on the spot. I... I don't know. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. I realize this is a dangerous undertaking. If you succeed, I can offer you a government job. You'll Ooh. be able to receive vaccine as you need it. Wow. If I can have a mechanics job, then we have a deal. I'm sure we can arrange something. I wish you luck in your task. Yeah, the, uh, the whole aristocrat class has a whole... Of course, I have a backup plan. Now behave yourself, and let us continue with arithmetic. Who is he talking to? <laughs> I wish you luck on your task, young lady, and offer some advice. Beware false friends. Oh, you can like that guy? How did you... Right, I guess that's your job. Never mind. No, yeah, that's... Yeah, like the, whole, the whole aristocrat uh, class is a whole, like, seems to have a, a whole aesthetic to them. The stars are aligned in such a way that I feel good fortune will soon come to us all. I'm also really curious uh, if at any point during this game we're going to see that mask come off. And I'm very curious as to what it looks like underneath it. It's probably going to be gross. <laughs> Here's your weapon back. Thanks. Alright, so for now, let's call it there for the night. And um, let's head over to the market district again. All right, so we'll call that call it quits for the night. And uh, next time we will try to get in to see uh, Danton and her group again. And yeah, we'll pick this up again next week. Um, next Monday should be the usual time. And, um... All citizens, the next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held tomorrow at sundown. Uh, and then tomorrow, um... So I still have... There's still some time to vote on uh, my backlog game that I'm going to start streaming tomorrow. There is a game that's that's uh, definitely pulling ahead, but uh, there, you're, there's still there's still time. So here's here's the link to that, in case you haven't voted on that already. Thank you, Grotislav. Uh, thank you for showing up and answering questions about the game. Um, it's always cool to have uh, to have the devs show up and uh, 
in the stream, and I hope I hope I did did proper justice to your game, and um, I'm definitely enjoying it so far. So, looking forward to the next session. Uh, so yeah, so we'll start start another game tomorrow. Um, still to be determined what that game will be, although there is one game that's, as I said, has been getting a lot of votes. So we'll see. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for that. And probably will be another Reseteer stream on Wednesday. Hopefully we'll get that last frickin' fire crystal that's been eluding me. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I had a little trouble with it. I was like, I was having a little... Tr it was a little tricky figuring out what exactly I was supposed to do, because I thought... My first thought was I was supposed to fill in all of the boxes that the, uh, that the letter covered, because I saw, like, the grid that was, like, shaded in. I was like, oh, okay, I gotta fill in all those boxes. And then I thought, well, maybe I just have to recreate the letter, and that turned out to be much easier. Oh, that would have worked, too. Okay, well, good. Cool. Good to know. Um... I, I do feel like an idiot for not, for not like, going, wait a minute, how come I can't look at it again? And like, oh, because I'm not pressing the right button. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, cool. Good stuff. So, yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow and also Wednesday. And let's find someone to raid in the meantime. Uh, where's my button for that? There we go. I'm sure everyone and their mom is is streaming uh, WoW Classic right now. Uh, so let's find let's find someone who isn't streaming WoW Classic. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. 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 Uh, oh. Concakes is streaming Corona Trigger. That's always good. Let's go over there. Ah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to try give WoW Classic a try, um, just because I never played vanilla WoW. Like I, I started playing in Burning Crusade, so I'd like to see just a little, at least a little bit, like what the OG experience was like. But I'm not. It's not super high on my priority list, especially not now when like a million people are playing it and the servers are crowded to all hell um so i can wait <laughs> um think of <laughs> think of <laughs> yeah yeah well i don't know i kind of want to try it anyway even if it sucks just to see it for myself so uh so yes Let's go, let's go check out some Chrono Trigger. A, a very different kind of classic. And once again, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Night! <laughs>